I've had a Quest 2 for quite some time, and I recently decided I wanted to start live streaming VR content onto my, you know, Twitch channel. Whenever I would connect to the PCI Express card, I would be limited to 286 megabytes per second. I'd be, you know, stuttering, dropping frames. I couldn't do anything, uh, and I was very, very defeated. And then I finally found the answer. It's super easy, super simple. This video is not going to take long to show you, so hopefully this can help. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. I got a quick little tutorial for you VR streamers out there. I've had a Quest 2 for quite some time and I recently decided I wanted to start live streaming VR content onto my, you know, Twitch channel. And I kept running into this issue of trying to decide how to stream it, uh, you know, to my PC. I didn't want to have a cable the whole time. I wanted to use AirLink, but I didn't want to use my main router because we have several TVs in the house that stream HD content that are on my five gigahertz Wi-Fi band. Uh, and so, you know, if I was trying to use my main router and the wife or the daughter were in either the living room or, or my daughter was in her room trying to stream, uh, you know, movies, then I'd start, you know, losing, dropping frames, all of that stuff. And it just didn't look good, uh, you know, trying to do air link via my five gigahertz on my main router. So the thought was I could either buy a second router, five gigahertz router that I could set up that could then act as, you know, something to connect to just for my VR headset. And then, you know, hopefully that would be good. Or I then saw a video that said you could use a PCI Express Wi-Fi card that would then allow you to basically, you know, just connect your headset directly to your PC. And then you would use your PC's internet, which is connected through ethernet to actually get internet to the headset and stuff and to still stream and all of that. But you would just basically then use that PCI Express Wi-Fi card as a mobile hotspot card, basically. But then I ran into a little issue. Whenever I would connect to the PCI Express card, I would be limited to 286 megabytes per second. At least that's what virtual desktop would be showing me. Uh, and when I would try to go into virtual desktop and play a game, or I would try to go into, you know, use AirLink through Oculus and try to play a game from my Oculus library, I'd be, you know, stuttering, dropping frames. I couldn't do anything. Uh, and I was very, very defeated. I'd basically have to turn it down to like 10 megabytes per second, the lowest setting on fixed bit rate uh, in order to, to get it to even be usable. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? This is a five gigahertz Wi-Fi card. Why am I only getting 286 megabits per second out of it? You know, I'm looking all around trying to figure it out and I couldn't. And then I finally found the answer. I finally figured it out. It is the stupidest thing in the world, but I scoured the internet looking for help and couldn't find it. It's super easy, super simple. This video is not going to take long to show you. I'm rambling more here at the beginning than it's actually going to take to show you, but I at least wanted to show you guys how to fix it because it's, it's literally, it's so stupid. Uh, I don't know if it's my particular card, but I saw other people had issues of it posted on the internet. So hopefully this can help. All right. What you got to do is first bring up your mobile hotspot stuff. And you know, you have your Wi-Fi turned on and you have your mobile hotspot turned on, which then share my Wi-Fi connection over Wi-Fi. My card also has Bluetooth, but obviously you want to use Wi-Fi. And then here you want to put your network name, your password, and which band you want to use. Obviously with a VR headset, the Quest 2 specifically, any VR headset that would have Wi-Fi, you're going to be wanting to use the 5 gigahertz network band as the 2.4 is just not going to be uh, strong enough, you're going to give your network a name. For me, I just called it VR-Wi-Fi. And, you know, a password here that you can put down. I just put some random numbers for now since, uh, you know, I'm showing this over here or whatever. So, again, now here's the problem. You do all that. You connect to it with your VR headset. You get 286 megabytes per second. You're not getting the full. Uh, with, I think, the Quest 2, the max is 1,200. Uh, I think 5 gigahertz can actually go higher than that. But with the Quest, 1,200 is the max, but you're not getting that or anything near that. So here's what you need to do. First, you need to make sure that your VR headset is not connected to the mobile hotspot. Then what you're gonna wanna do to probably make sure is turn it off and then go ahead and turn it back on. And when you turn it on now, what you're gonna wanna do is grab your cell phone. And you're gonna wanna go to the Wi-Fi settings on your cell phone, which you can see here. I'm going to try to show here and you're just want to gonna you're going to want to uh, select the VR-Wi-Fi network 
We're gonna put in the password and we're gonna hit connect. And you're gonna see it pops up here. Device connected. And then all we're gonna wanna do is click the cog wheel next to it. And down at the bottom, there's a forget button. We're gonna wanna click forget so that our phone no longer is connected to it and no longer auto connects to it. Because again, we only want the headset to connect to it. And once you do this, if we go back into our headset and go back into virtual desktop, you'll now see that it reads 1200 megabits, megabytes per second, whichever it is. I don't actually, I can never remember, but it now reads 1200 and I can now go into uh, the Oculus Air Link. I can crank it all the way up the max quality 200 megabits, megabytes per second and have absolutely zero stuttering, zero lag. And I can now, you know, stream to my PC, do all the stuff, uh, you know, live stream, which I've been doing now with no issues. I don't know why you can't change it or get it to work or get it to go to 1200 megabytes just in the Windows environment or in the Oculus headset, but you can't. You have to connect to it with another device that'll then make it update to the higher speeds, basically, I, I guess. I don't... I don't even know how it works, to be honest. I just know that it works. And I figured out by accident because I was just like, well, let me try connecting my phone to it and seeing if that, you know, if my phone's slow. And I'm like, well, I'm getting the normal speed on my phone. So then I stick back on my headset. And I'm like, what the, now it reads, took me a minute to put it together, but I don't know. So I don't know why it works, what causes it to work, but that is how to fix it. I saw all kinds of other people on the internet when I was Googling, trying to find answers and stuff, having the same issue. So hopefully this helps you out. It'll give you the full speed. As you can see on the screen happening, no lag, no issues. We're in my home, we're looking around, we're moving around, no issues whatsoever. That's it. That's how you fix it. The unfortunate thing is every single time that you reset your computer and turn back on your mobile hotspot the next time, or even if it turns back on automatically after you reset it, you have to connect to it with your phone first then forget the network and then connect to it with your VR headset. Every single time, you gotta do that first or else it doesn't work. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We got gaming content, VR content, tutorials, streaming tutorials, reviews of gaming equipment, streaming equipment. Peace out, motherfuckers.